In this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of arthritic knee pain in as little as 30 seconds using an everyday hand towel. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So let's go over a self-mobilization technique or self-traction that's going to help open up your knee. If you're dealing with a lot of stiffness, tightness, pain due to arthritis, or maybe you just have a stiff knee from running or going to the gym, especially after squatting, this self-traction into the knee is going to help put more range of motion in there, loosen everything up, and the great part is you can do it at home. It doesn't require any special equipment. It's safe, effective, and easy. I'm gonna show you two different variations, so make sure to try both of them and go with the one that feels like it's giving you the most amount of relief. So let's get started with them. So this first knee traction technique has two parts to it. You're going to want to start on a nice flat surface. On the floor is perfect, in bed, if you feel it's firm enough, that should work too. So whatever knee that you're looking to really work on, keep that one bent while the other leg goes completely straight. From there, what I'm going to do is take my hands, I'm going to bend the knee, put them on the shin right here, and drive the heel back until you feel a very gentle stretch into the knee, only to your comfort level. From there, and this is very important, we're going to want to keep the foot flat but we're going to start to turn it inwards. So take the toes inwards until you're about 30 degrees pointing inwards. From there, I'm going to traction just a little bit more into the knee, and I tell you what, you should feel a pretty good stretch. Why it's very important to keep the toes pointed inwards because it aids in natural movement of the knee. It's more natural for it, so these exercises become a little bit more effective towards opening up that knee joint and releasing pressure. So from there, what I like to do is hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds, I relax, and then I'm just going to repeat that process upwards to five times. After that, if you're still looking for more traction into the knee, we're going to take a small hand towel and we're gonna roll it up just like this. Go back into that position where the knee is bent, but this time place this at the back of the knee. And then from there, start to pull the leg back, turn the foot inwards, and really notice that you're going to get a lot of good traction in there. When I do this sometimes, I actually feel a pop, crack, or release into the knee joint. If that happens through the natural movements, it's completely normal. It's just gas being released from the knee. But when you do this, make sure it's not causing any discomfort. Again, what you wanna do is hold this for 10 seconds, relax, and then repeat upwards to five times. So let's go over the second exercise and see if that one works for you too. So for the second technique, it's easiest to do this next to a bed. Whatever knee I'm looking to get some relief in, I'm going to bend it and just place it up just like this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that towel, I'm gonna to place it at the back of the knee, and then I'm going to kind of sandwich it in between this part of the leg and the top part of the leg. It's pretty easy from there. What I'm going to do is just use my body weight and go down on it. So what I'm doing is keeping this bottom part flat, but my butt is going to start to go down towards the floor. And you can kind of see right there how I'm just using my body weight to start to help traction that knee joint right there. Only go to your comfort level. I tell you what, this causes a lot of good stretching into the knee itself. Again, if you get a pop or a crack, that's completely normal through the natural movements of the knee. Hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds. You're just gonna relax, and then you just repeat that upwards to five times. And afterwards, notice any differences in the range of motion of the knee, how much pain you're having. If it feels like it's making a big difference at that point, you know it's working for you, and keep it going. So give them both a try and go with the ones that you feel are helping you out the most. So if you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.